This meeting of the Burlington County Board of Chosen Free Rollers is in good order. Please rise for a flag salute and remain standing. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Dear Father, help us to be receptive to the thoughts and challenges that come to us through prayer, through the printed page, and from the world around us and help our leaders to find the best solutions to the problems that we face. We ask this in your name, amen. Amen. In compliance with the Open Public Meetings Act, this is to announce that adequate notice of this meeting has been provided. Also pursuant to the 2013 rules and regulations of the Board of Chosen Freeholders of the County of Burlington, time to sh to shall be set aside on the agenda for the receipt of public comments. Public comments will be received with respect to agenda items prior to board consideration of resolutions to be adopted. An additional opportunity for public comment will occur later in the meeting. Public comments shall be limited to five minutes per speaker. Unused time may not be transferred to another speaker. Persons may speak once per public comment period. I direct the deputy clerk to enter into the minutes of this meeting, this public announcement, and the advance written notice of this meeting. Freeholder Arter. Present. Freeholder Belgard. Here. Freeholder Schwartz. Here. And Freeholder Director Donnelly. Uh, here, thank you Mr. Drayton. At this time, I'll entertain a motion for the approval of the minutes of the regular public meeting of December 11, 2013. So moved. Moved by Freeholder Belgard. Is there a second? Second. Second by Freeholder Schwartz. Any discussion? All in favor, so indicate by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Abstentions? The minutes are approved. This time, I'll entertain a motion for the approval of the minutes of the conference meeting of November 27, 2013. So moved. Moved by Freeholder Arder. Is there a second? Second. Second by Freeholder Belgard. Any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor, so indicate by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Abstentions? Minutes are approved. At this time, we'll open the meeting to the public for any comment on agenda items. If you wish to speak on an agenda item, please come forward, state your name and address for the record. Yes, sir. Um, today, very late Christmas, so I'm glad to be here. Uh, first, uh, First agenda. Oh, my name is Luis Lopez from Van Holly. Just to clarify that. November the twenty seven, twenty eight, and twenty nine. to do with um, homeless grant monies. Is Anna here? There you are. Would you mind speaking to each of them? Last one uh, for no, for number two. Number two. Number two. Yeah, that's authorizing us to make certain budget transfers for the continuation of government between December 31st of 2013. No, this isn't. No, no it's not. Forgive me. I got it. What this is allows us to do after no, November. I mean, my, my bad. Uh, excuse me. Uh, uh, Let's start right over because I'm screwing up. <laughs> <laughs> you guys have a I, I made number three. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, my bad. <laughs> I mean, number three. <laughs> okay. Um, what this is allowing the county to do is cancel certain budget appropriations that appeared in the 2013 solid waste budget, meaning the landfill. These are appropriations that we had planned on using that may not have been spent or may not have come due this year. 
right. Okay, thank you. I've got thank some you. other comments. Very good. Thank you, sir. Any further public comment on agenda items? Seeing none, I'll close this portion of the meeting to the public. At this time, I'll make a motion for unanimous consent of resolution. Items numbered 1 through 14. Second. Moved by Freeholder Donnelly, second by Freeholder Arter. Any discussion? Uh, yes, I'd like to make a motion to remove items 1, 7, and 9 for discussion. I will second that. Any discussion? All in favor of removing from the consent items numbers numbered 1, 7, and 9. Hearing none, all in favor, so indicate by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Abstentions? Yes. Thank you very much. So, um, Mr. Troy, I have some questions on the bill list. Um, on number or on page 12, Birdsall Engineering. I know we haven't seen a Birdsall bill for a while. Um, so, I mean, it's not much. It's only $1,596. What is that for? this be the end of the birdsall bills yes. that we see? Okay, great. Uh, on page 13, uh, I, and again, I don't know if I ever say this name right, Burchart Horn Professional Services, $15,757. Can you tell me what that's for? There's an entry there for the Burlington County Library reimbursed startup $942,806.27. Can you explain what that is? <laughs> Were you waiting for that question? I, I, <laughs> I got it. <laughs> if I ever miss one, feel free to tell me. <laughs> Okay, so are, uh, do we have any more reimbursement that's owed beyond this? No. Okay. All right. Thank you. Um, on page 17 and 18, um, unfortunately with our abbreviated schedule, I did not get a chance to request and review the Capehart Scatchard bills. Um, they appear to, to total $117,921. Can you just give me a brief overview of what those were? I have them here. Oh, great. Um, well, I don't want to look at them right now. But I'll look at them. I'll look at them afterwards. Um, yeah, I mean, do you know sort of generally it's, what it's they? A, it's just a uh, mixture of things. Okay. Okay, and I can have them afterwards. Great, thank you. Uh, page forty-three, Lippincott and Jacobs, sixteen thousand nine hundred seventy-nine dollars and seventy-one cents. Page 56, and I apologize if I pronounce this wrong. Puente or Pente Construction, thir uh, 300,000. This is the settlement. Oh, okay. And then page 71, TM Associates Professional Services, 2,425. What, what were those professional services? Those are all the questions I have. Thank you. Anyone else on number one? 
Number seven. Okay. On number seven, um, I just had an opportunity to review briefly the um, proposals for legal services. And I'm a little bit concerned because some of the proposals um, seem to be for less. So let me let me rephrase that. Um, some of the firms have proposed um, lesser fees than the ones that we are going to be accepting and going with. So I'm just wondering how we are justifying that. I think that. Go ahead, Pete. This is an RFQ procedure. And, uh, sorry, could you speak a little louder? Sorry, this is an RFQ procedure. This is cost and other factors. We received uh, in the uh, RFQ that we put out from this the criteria for review. They come back, we review them, we make recommendations to the board based on those. Uh, it's, not, it's not a bid, this is for uh, professional. So then, um, for example, for the public sector and employment law, it looks like the um, Parker McKay's bid, for example, was between $160 and $180 per hour compared to Capehart and Skatrick, which we're going with, which is $200 per hour. So the justification for that $20 to $40 per hour difference is that Capehart and Skatrick will do a better job or? Well, essentially that in the overall context of the RFQ and the qualifications submitted were the experience that we have with them, the results that we've obtained through them, all those things weigh into and then we uh, scored it and weighted it accordingly and that's the recommendation to the board. Um, the other question I has, have is how does this RFQ go out? Because it doesn't, you know, I know that there are a lot of uh, law firms throughout South, well, all of New Jersey and especially South Jersey and we didn't get too many responses. In fact, <coughs> I think even for the municipal court one, I think we have to go back out for that one, right? Yes. So how, how are these distributed? Is it just through um, um, publication in the newspaper and a website, or are we actually, Both. yeah, okay. Both. And yeah. anything beyond that? Like, do we send them to, to firms, no. the request? Okay. No, we, we, we publish them in the newspaper, mm -hmm. which is uh, required, and, and we put them on the website, which is board policy. Uh, and and uh, I mean, we received responses from Warren County for a couple of the areas. I don't know where Warren, Warren County is. It's up north somewhere. <laughs> and um, can and I the, just jump in? So you're saying that you published legal notices in the newspaper? Yes, ma'am. Uh, a number of months ago, there had this had been an issue, and I had requested, and you all had agreed that I would receive, and I think also the rest of the freeholders, copies of any legal notices that would be in the papers. I have not received any, so I assume none went out, but it sounds like one certainly did go out for this. Yes, it did. And I did and I not get a copy of that. I'll have to certainly look into that. I, I haven't know. gotten any copies of any legal notices for many, many months. Okay. Let me look into that. Um, the one other question I have is that I know that our legal expenses um, are, are a pretty hefty portion of our bills. I think just an example today was the Cape Hart and Scatrick bill of $117, $921, um, you know, just for this last month. And I'm wondering if um, some of this legal work can be handled in-house. Some of it is. Right. Okay. So some of it is. Some of it goes out, and, and it goes out for, for different reasons. Uh, litigation, uh, so some litigation specifically where uh, you need tremendous amounts of, of support for, to support that litigation uh, with our staffing support staffing, that type of litigation tends to go out. I, I'd be happy to sit down and review in more detail. Okay. You know, <laughs> Great. Um, those are all the questions I have on number seven. Anything further on number seven? Number nine. Number nine, I just wanted to clarify that this, um, that this amendment is just a, a, a change of about $310, is that right? <laughs> Okay, Bill. This, yep. this, this is a correction. When I did this in the summer okay. under the application, we understated the, the, um, the contribution of the state and the, and the county by about $310 for each side. Okay. So when it came back to me to complete this, the state wanted us to update the, and correct the original resolution so that the numbers got. Okay. I just wanted to make sure that I was understanding it correctly. So, great. Thank you. Anything further on number nine? 
Okay, right now we will vote numbers one, seven, and nine. All in favor, so indicate by saying aye. Uh, aye. Are you voting, you're voting all three of them at once, not yes, separately? No. All in favor, so indicate by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Opposed. Opposed. Abstentions? Okay. We are not paying our bills. Um, at this time, I'll take a vote on numbers two through six, eight, ten through fourteen. All in favor, so indicate by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Abstentions? Resolutions are adopted. Three order. order. At this time, I move to yeah, I'd just like to go back. Is there, um, I'm wondering why we didn't separate out those three items. Because they were removed. They were removed in total. So they weren't removed separately? Is there a way to vote on them individually? After we voted on them collectively? Well, that's why I had asked you before we voted. Because I have concern, as you said, that we're not paying our bills. It would seem to make sense to vote on them separately if we want to get the bills paid. Then you should make the motion with them separately. I will make a motion to Eight. somehow take a vote on them separately then. <laughs> remove the three items from the agenda that were discussed in total. The vote the direct call for the vote in total. There was a motion second. There was a question and the vote was taken. So if, if, if there was a question to voting on them separately that would be appropriately raised prior to the vote being taken. Which Joanne did. But then there was no motion made. There was no, there was no, there was a question and then a new call. Well, so the question now is how do we fix this? Well, we would need a, something in the, in the nature of a do-over uh, that, that would not be something that not under the rules of the board, uh, and, and I, I, think, I think what you have is done. Can I make a motion to vacate the prior <laughs> vote on items one, seven, and nine in order to separate them and recast our votes? Can I second that? Well, the, the motion, the motion the motion to reopen them, uh, I believe, uh, would be out of order at this point because you have uh, taken a vote and you've dealt with those particular issues, and I believe it's, it's done. I believe it's done, and I believe under the, uh, under the rules of the board, uh, once that is finished up, then it can come up for reconsideration at future meeting, the next meeting, but for this meeting, your agenda has been dealt, your agenda item has been dealt. What uh, burdens does it cause, Mr. Troy? Sorry, what, what, if any, burdens does it cause you? Um, well, the bills will be paid promptly. The bills what? Will or will not? Will not be paid. And that is not the intent or That's intention. I mean, I, I make a motion that the bills get paid. I'll second it. I need an opinion. Well, if, if under the rules of the board, uh, <laughs> the board as a whole moves to suspend the rules of the board unanimously, then mm -hmm. you, could, you could move that forward and go back in time. But that vote under the rules of the board, that has to be a unanimous uh, fund. It has to be a unanimous vote. Okay. for resolutions 179, yeah. You make a motion? I move Second. It. All, any discussion? All in favor, so indicate by saying aye. Uh, aye. aye. Opposed? Abstentions? All right. I'll entertain a motion to adopt resolution number one. 
So moved. I'm sorry, you moved and seconded. No, I'm just taking a vote. Oh, I moved I'm sorry. Second a long time ago. Now I'm thinking about it. All in favor, so indicate by saying aye on number one. Aye. 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 On number seven. Aye. Aye. Opposed? Opposed. Aye. Abstentions? On number nine, all in favor, so indicate by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Abstentions? Okay. At this time, I have already moved for adoption on resolutions number two through six, eight, and ten through fourteen. Is there a second? Second. Any discussion? All in favor, so indicate by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Abstentions? Resolutions are adopted. For your order. At this time, I move for the adoption of rev rev resolutions number 15 through 33. Second. Anyone? Second. Moved by Federal Order, second by Federal Schwartz. Any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor, so indicate by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Abstention? Resolutions are adopted. At this time, I move for adoption of resolutions number 34 through 41. Is there a second? Second. second. Moved by Free Order Donnelly, second by Free Order Belgard. All in favor, so indicate. Uh, any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor, so indicate by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Abstentions? Resolutions are adopted. Free Order Schwartz. At this time, I move for unanimous consent for item number 42. Thank you. Is there a second? Second. Moved by Free Order Schwartz, second by Free Order Arter. Any discussion? All in favor, so indicate by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Abstentions. Resolution is adopted. This time we'll take questions from the press. Danielle. Um, number 42. Do you know annually how much revenue um, the that generates the fee of the jail? You have it? Danielle, I think the, 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 the number the, the, the number that gave, he was referring to, to something else. It comes out to about 120000 Danielle, the, the actual number that we, uh, that we will be collecting in 2013 is approximately $150,000 of the administrative fees. Um, and our projections um, by increasing the administrative fees uh, to $100 would yield about another $120,000. Um, my understanding also is that this is in keeping in line with what's happening throughout the state. That in fact, we were collecting far less than other um, jails have been collecting. That is correct. That is correct. And is it about 8,000 This time I'll open the meeting to the public. Anyone wishing to speak, please come forward, state your name and address for the record. You are not bound by a agenda at this point in time. Yes, sir. Good morning, Paul Shanier. I live over in Mount Laurel. Um, I'm going to ask Paul Shanier, I live over Mount Laurel. Could you give us the status of Pinelands Library? Met Council, for whatever reason, just totally refuses to divulge what's going on. Um, just like to try to find out. Who's got it? That's me. Um, at this time, we've been talking with both Met, uh, Bedford and ourselves. We've had several conversations. We have several possibilities to deal with it uh, in consideration. We've been, uh, the library has been working with a professional designing what the um, branch of the future, so to speak, would look like and how many square feet that would entail. And, and right now, we've been in discussions with Medford about possibilities of making that happen. What, what, what about the actual contract that actually expired? It's been almost, what, a year now? That they've We've been, been holding any off our end of what we agreed to do. Sorry? Uh, the county has been holding up its end of what we agreed to do. So Medford is not holding up their Medford end? Medford hasn't executed the contract, but we've been holding to what the contract, what we have stated to do within the contract. But I don't understand. Recently, there are squirrels. I should say, to my knowledge, they have not executed. Okay, the there are squirrels running inside of a you know, the, you see the building now. Medford Township refuses to pay for an ex, uh, you know, for someone to come in and get rid of these things, and the Metro Library Association is, you know, is being forced to pay for it. Uh, that's the first I've heard of that situation, and I will reach out to the Library Commission and check into that. 
immediately after the meeting. Okay, so basically nothing is going on um, in essence to um, have, have the contract settled? Is that what I'm hearing? Or? We have executed our half of the contract. They have not. We have continued to abide by the terms of that agreement, and we are working towards developing a new facility for the Pinelands service area. Will that be at Medford? We, have, we are talking with Medford <coughs> and looking at possibilities there. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Any further? Oh, Mr. Malanis. First things, uh, congratulations to the Board of Freeholders if the people choose you guys to serve for 1914 and up, and I congratulate you for being selected to lead us for the year 2014. Wait a minute. I wasn't selected to do that. I'm here. This is my last meeting <laughs> as director. <laughs> well, you that here, decision's next week. You, you here, sir. You, you were selected by the people. I mean, Thank you. Uh, that I think I uh, congratulate you guys on that. Now, uh, I'm here. I got a couple of more things to say. I'm here to share you the president of Korea that gave me a medal. It took me about 60 years to get it, but I got it. And I have to say thank you to the President of Korea for his medal. I just bring it to share it with you guys. That's good. And I salute you. Uh, I got another thing. Is that I know every year we got a little problem with the people and the homeless. I wonder, is there any way that we can take care of these people? I know we got a lot of building in the county, and we, we should be able to get these people out of the street and take them to shelter. I hate to, I know how it, these people suffer because I was in, in, in the war, and when it was cold, I suffered. And some of these people, they're sick, they're old, like me, and they need some help. And I wonder if the, uh, the county is doing anything for these people in, in, in the wintertime. And you're not I, talking specifically about veterans community. You're talking about homelessness in general, correct? In general. Anna, would you speak to some of the services that we provided uh, to homelessness, to end homelessness? Sounds pretty good, but what I'm concerned, I read in the paper, the Wellington County put a, a lady that she, they got a picture of her, she sleeping in the street in the car. And I know we got a lot of good police people. Then and people like that, we have to look out for them and take it to shelter somewhere, because you know, the Wellington County got a good feature of this lady in the street, and that's why I'm bringing this up. And Wellington County paper doing a good job 
when you're reporting this to us, and I got the paper there. Would you also speak to homelessness prevention and what we're doing there? Our role is to help. It's to, and we try and do as much outreach about the service. Actually, Anna and Zahira, have, Zahira specifically has been tasked with getting out in the community and making folks aware of the services that the county offers, either as a conduit or directly, to prevent homelessness and help those that are homeless, you know, get things straightened out, get the ship righted, for lack of a better term. But we don't know who everyone is. That's why you know folks need to avail themselves of the services that the county has. Or, at least, or that not that service the county has, but services that we can make available. That, that sounds very good, but you know, uh, in other words, when the paper finds somebody out there that need help, you know, you got a phone that they can call right away and two six five five zero seven two. You know, and, and they, also they should be put in the paper where where they can call for help and things like that. See, I can't put it in the paper. No, that's up to that's an the, editorial the, the, decision there. No, but the, the the paper should be able to call you guys and let them know that somebody in the street called. That's you know, we're not bringing it up. And you guys do doing a good job, I really appreciate that, but still some, something happened that some of the people uh, need help and we don't help in time. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Any further public comment? Yes, sir. It's nice to come here again. And uh, first, uh, I got a question that has been bothering me for several weeks. Uh, Amy, I think she ain't got to ask me actually directly. What's the status of the, the welfare and the county food stamps? The status of them? Yeah, with the percentage. It go about beyond 100%. I, you got to help me a little, Lewis. Okay. Um, I was reading an article several weeks ago, right? And to reduce, to reduce, uh, to reduce the cost. My my question is, did you like? Uh, I don't know. If you can do it. Y'all tag every every recipient paper, every welfare uh, um, personnel. You know, people who receive welfare food stamps. Right. This is like I think it's you know, I think like abusing the system. I know it's a free world to change the policy to drug test and everyone to reduce the cost. Drug, t uh, drug test everyone who what? Who's on the food stamps. You know, well, I don't think that's within the scope of county government. That's that's Board of Social Services. We, and I don't, I, I'm confident that the rules of those programs are structured by the federal and state governments and they don't afford us the ability to decide who, if anyone, should be drug tested. And I mean, they choose, you know, so I'm doing it, you know, it's abusing, I mean, getting around, around the rules, and then it's costing the county even more. Why, th there may be abuses to the system. Again, we don't That's have the right to unilaterally, it's, it's, it's a social network set up at a level much above all of our pay grades. Lewis, the fed, this food stamp program is a federal program, not a county program. Right. Okay. Um, okay. I guess my, that's my, my, my concern, I mean. Yeah, I, I hear you, but it's a federal program. It's nothing that the county oversees. Well, we do oversee it. For that women, which we don't set the, the I said that, right. We don't set the guidelines, set but the we threshold. do oversee it. Right. We are the conduit. And what's the threshold for 
for code blue with a degree. Do you know what the temperature for code blue is? And it's under 25 degrees typically, but the wind chill factor is taken into consideration. It got dropped to record 20, and so the temperature is a little higher. So, um, but it's not on a, on a daily right. That's a statewide, but they will transfer you to contact if you call to contact one. Yeah. And my last question is for the Mahai Guy Pass. On my you know, way to work right, every day, there's trees, you know, I think that's County Road. There's trees, you know, blocking the, that's not know it's a narrow way, but the trees, you know, coming down closer to the roadway. And I went to the, to the County Highway to look at it. Uh, we can look at it, but a good percentage of those trees are on private property. We own probably five or ten. What is this brick here? Yeah, we, we trim back to the edge of the right away. Right. But uh, most of that land along there is privately held. Actually, basically all of it, or it's state held. And, um, oh yeah, and for the reward, well, you know what time is it? In what day? In the first? The second at noon. Oh, the second of January? And at noon. noon. Okay, thank you. Thank you, sir. Any further public comment? Hearing none, I'll close this portion of the meeting for the public and go to the freeholders, freeholder Schwartz. Just wanted to wish everybody a happy and safe new year. And also, if you're going to be drinking, please make sure you have a designated driver. Thank you. Hello, Belgard. Thanks. Um, I hope everybody who celebrates Christmas had a great Christmas and um, that everyone has a wonderful 2014. That's it. Thank you. Freeholder order. Thank you for coming out today. Hope you enjoyed time with your family this week. You are celebrating Christmas and have a happy new year. And thank you to all the county employees for all the work you've done this past year. It's greatly appreciated, your support, and the effort that you put in on our behalf. Thank you. Thank you. I'll entertain a motion to adjourn. So moved. Moved move by Phil Arder, seconded by Phil Belgard. All in favor, so indicate by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Abstentions? We are adjourned. Happy new year, everyone.